All right, let's take a look here at Terraform data, which is supposed to be very similar to null resource, uh, but the idea is that you do not have to provide um, uh, the, the provider, uh, as we saw that that needed to be installed in order to use it. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go and create ourselves a new folder. So I'm just going to, oh, I'm just looking anywhere where I can create that folder. Um, uh, it's a bit hard because the leveling is not the way you think it would be, but we'll go here, we'll do 015. This will be mm, provisioners. I don't know if it really counts as a provisioner because it's not a provider. But anyway, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just type in Terraform data here and uh, we'll have that new folder. And of course it's not really where I want it to be. So I'm gonna try to drag it into place. <laughs> it's really not letting me make that folder. So what I'm gonna do is just delete it. That's why you never see me really making folders on screen here because they're just a pain to make. But I'll go down here and we'll just try that again. So I'll say make dir uh, 015 um, provisioners terraform data. Okay, now we have our folder and we'll bring in our main.tf and let's go ahead here and just grab uh, this, this file here, okay, from our null resource and see if we can just swap it out because if we can just swap it out, then hey, uh, we know we're in good shape here. I'm gonna go ahead and just create ourselves that user data uh, YAML file there as well. Now, when we ran this last time, or at least when I ran this last time, it was 3.590. Um, and I'm just going to update this to the latest uh, version of Terraform. So, or sorry, uh, this provider. So I'm gonna go, uh, was it Squiggly 5.0? I always forget what it's supposed to be. Uh, just to be sure, I'm gonna go pull up Terraform providers uh, 5.0 or upgrades and we'll get that exact value there. Now, technically we should really be using, um, what do you call it? I, I say this somewhere in the course, but we talk about, we talk about always uh, specifying, um, there's a word for it, like try to always use the latest one because that way you're gonna stay up to date with your code. But throughout this, this uh, that's not what I was doing. <laughs> I, was, I was hard coding it to make it easier for this not to break in the future for folks that are trying to use this code base. Uh, but anyway, we'll go ahead here and do uh, put in here 5.0. Uh, so that's what that will be here. Um, this has a very specific VPC. So the question will be, is that VPC still there? Because it might not be. Um, so we'll have to go double check that. Uh, so I'll have to open up my AWS account. Okay. And we'll make our way over to VPCs. And we'll go into VPCs and um, well, we have this VPC, but I don't think that's the one that we're interested in. I don't think it really matters which one we use as long as it works. I'm gonna take the shorter one here. Go ahead and grab that, grab that ID there. I think this is for Elastic Beanstalk or something because of the funny naming of it. I did not name it that, that's for sure. Uh, okay, so that's been swapped out there. Uh, I'm just going through here, cider blocks. Um, Uh, let me double check what that's supposed to be. Yeah, I think that's just our own IP address, right? So I could just go here and say, uh, what's my IP? IPv4. There we go. So go here. All right, and so just in case I need to connect to that instance, I really don't think I'll have to, but um, it doesn't hurt to do that. And just scrolling on down here, uh, we obviously have our SSH uh, key here. Again, again, it's been a while since I've done this, so um, I mean, not for you, I mean, for me, it's been different, but I might I might not have that, uh, that shock key there, so I might have to generate another one there. But again, I'm not that interested in this code because I know that it worked pri uh, previously. Um, so before we do anything else, what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna make sure this stuff still works. So I'm gonna do Terraform init here. Oops, sorry, we're gonna have to go into the correct uh, folder here and we'll say Terraform init. Okay. And I realize that we're doing it with null. I wanna make sure that it works first. And then when it doesn't, uh, then when it does work, then we will go and tear this down and replace that with Terraform data, okay. And so I'll go apply and we'll go ahead and allow that to apply. 
And it has one minor issue here, root.ssh terraform. Um, so just give me a second, okay? And I guess what we'll have to redo is regenerate out the file here. Of course, you don't have to, but uh, I'll have to do it. So I believe it is uh, ssh uh, uh, gen, key gen t rsa. And we'll go ahead and uh, I'll save this as Terraform. Notice that the pathing is a bit different just because, uh, again, it's been a while. So, you know, it's a little bit different. And so I've now generated out that there. I will have to update this uh, accordingly. So this one is now at home. Uh, SSH uh, should be Terraform there, but we'll go double check that. So I'm going to do ls hyphen la and we will do uh, dot SSH here and see the contents of there, that, and it says ID RSA, IRS RSA pub. So I really thought, enter the file name to which to save the key, Terraform. Okay, why isn't it named that? <laughs> I definitely named it that, I hit enter, but, uh, and then down below here it says, your identification has been saved in Terraform, your public key has been Terraform pub. Okay, well, um, hold on here. I'm gonna go hit up here and I'm just going to make sure that we are in the, the correct path here, okay? Try this one more time. All right, just give me two seconds. Okay, I'm not crazy. I hit enter here, I type in Terraform, enter the file in which to save the key, enter. Oh, you know what it probably is? It's right here. Okay. Um, all right, one second. We'll go ahead and just delete these. Delete these permanently. No big issue here. And I will try this again. So uh, I will do home, Andrew, SSH, Terraform. Okay. Uh, I did not mean to enter a pa uh, passphrase. So we'll try this one more time. And I'll try this one more time. There we go, and so now if I was to, there we go, uh, do that, then we'll be in better shape. So this very similar, but it's gonna be Terraform Andrew. I think it was Andrew, yeah. Oh, sorry, home Andrew SSH Terraform. And then up here is the actual public key. So I'm gonna do cat, and we will um, print out the contents of that key for the pub. Is there a nicer way to insert that? Probably. Uh, are we going to do that? No. <laughs> okay. And I just want to make sure I copy that value here. And I'm going to go on the next line here. I just don't have confidence that that might be copied. There we go. And uh, we'll go in front of this here. And we'll just say public key equals. Uh, yeah, it looks fine. And we'll take out that old key there. Okay, you don't have my private key, so you shouldn't be embedding that into the file, but just understand that I'm doing that and, uh, you know, it's just for ease of use, right? Okay, so now that we um, uh, have all this code set up, we should attempt the Terraform uh, apply again. And we'll give it a moment here. And... Uh, Double check our output, looks fine. We'll say yes. And so what we wanna see is we wanna see the EC2 instance deploy and we wanna see that it's waiting for that deploy just like before. As soon as I start seeing that, I'll just stop the video and we'll skip uh, skip forward here. But uh, we're waiting for that status check there. So hopefully everything is okay with our copy paste job here. I'll be back here if it shows the status or if it fails, okay? You know what? I don't know if this is actually ever going to uh, finish because we never chmodded our file. I'm going to stop that there and see what happens. We'll make our way over to AWS and we'll just see if it actually provisioned that and maybe it's stuck in a uh, bizarre state. So go over here to instances. And I just want to see if there's an instance running or not. We do have one called my server that is initializing. I know that's pretty much uh, all we're running here. Let me just double check here. We do have a security group. Um, 
Yeah, so the question really will be what will happen if we try to provision this again. But I think the reason why this is messing up is we forgot to chmod our file. When you want to SSH into something, uh, if we go over to actions, uh, we're looking for those instructions here. It's somewhere here. Uh, I think it's just over in connect. If we go over to SSH client, yeah, we have to chmod that file. So that's probably what we need to do, chmod 400. So I just couldn't remember what the chmod value was. And so uh, is it the pub or private that has to be chmoded there? Oh, the private key, right, okay. Uh, make, to, uh, to ensure your key is not publicly viewable, locate your private key and do that. All right, so we'll go back over here and I mean, at least eight of us says you have to do it, but uh, I'm assuming that's the reason why it's not working. And we'll do Terraform. But I mean, it could have been totally fine the first time around, but uh, we'll try this apply again and maybe we'll end up with additional resources or maybe we'll get rid of the other ones. It's just because we ended it in a funny state here. So I'm not 100% sure what's gonna happen here. And uh, Oh yeah, okay, it's gonna it's gonna figure it out. Yeah, we're in good shape. Okay, so we'll try this again. And I'll just watch it here and see what happens, all right? All right, and so we're just still waiting for that to create. Now, when I did this last time, it, uh, it was really quick about uh, doing this. It took 30 seconds until it moved on to the status check. Um, so I guess we'll just sit here and see what happens. Uh, but yeah, last time it didn't take 30 seconds, so, or I mean, it didn't take longer than 30 seconds, but, um, yeah, we'll just wait here and find out, okay? All right, so I wonder if I've introduced a mistake. So there's a, there used to be IP config, but if you do I, I, uh, I, uh, sorry, <laughs> I, IF config, uh, I'll just clear this one more time, sorry. So if I go here and I do IF config, okay, I get back 174.5.116.22. Uh, Notice here that I have 174.5.116.22.3. And so that's why I think this might be failing because this is taking a long time uh, to provision the file. The provision of the file is where it's going to use SSH to uh, get into there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kill that again and I'm going to try this again. And I'm going to say Terraform apply auto approve. Okay. Just so that we're not waiting around here forever. And so I took off that uh, additional three. Um, whoops. And Hold on two seconds. Oh, sorry, you know what? It's just a spelling mistake. It's because it's getting cut off here. Uh, is it two Ps? I am dyslexic, so if that P is missing, I cannot tell. <laughs> and I guess I was right, but uh, yeah, so now we'll wait for it to destroy, and I think this time it will get in there. So just be careful uh, like, like me and make sure you're not uh, introducing a tiny mistake, okay? All right, and so now we're getting the behavior that we were looking for. So uh, yeah, that is now less of an issue and we're seeing that status still creating. So this is exactly the behavior we're looking for. I'm gonna let it proceed uh, to completion. And then once it's done there, I'm gonna tear it down, but I'll just save you the trouble of watching these uh, slow slow progress here, okay? All right, and so as you can see, um, uh, this is now <laughs> a deploy. I'm gonna just go ahead and destroy this. Okay, and we'll just auto approve that. Make sure that that runs. All right, great, I'll see you here in a moment. All right, so that's destroyed. So now the question is, can we uh, basically swap out um, null resource for Terraform data? Because that is what it says in the box. Um, and that's what we're going to find out here. So what I wanna do is first just go over to uh, the documentation and we'll look up Terraform data. And we might already have it. No, we don't have it open here, but we'll type in Terraform data. Um, and see if we can find that. Maybe if we give it an underscore, it'll have an easier time finding it. There we go. Uh, we'll type in docs. And so here we have Terraform data. And I'm thinking, yeah, that we can just replace that there. So I'm gonna go here and we'll say Terraform data. But what I was really looking for was the specific uh, specific reference documentation. So we do have some arguments down below here. Um, so yeah, just give me a second, okay? All right, just double checking things here. So I think that this should possibly just work and it will remove the uh, null resource. So what I wanna do is I just want to uh, look where that might be stored. So notice that we have null here. And so we've changed this to Terraform data. 
I'm going to type in terraform init and we'll see what happens here. Okay. And I want to scroll up here and just double check here. Um, and so, you know, I'm kind of expecting this, this to go away, but um, the folder is still there. Maybe we can just check. Uh, not this. Let's see here. I'm looking for... I mean, I suppose so. Like, hold on here. What what happens if we change it back here to null resource and we try this again? Okay, so we have the null in there, and then I I put it I take I I replace it with Terraform data. And okay, so it just removes it there, and so we don't have it as a uh, a provider. It's uh, much more simple. So let's go find out if this actually just works in place as promised. We'll say auto approve. And I mean, it appears to be working. So I'll see you here if this is successful, okay? All right, so look at that. It provisioned with uh, no issues there and we, were, uh, we didn't need that additional provisioner. I know it's still showing up here on the left-hand side, uh, but you know, it's not being referenced. So we could technically delete um, uh, that provider there and it would be uh, totally fine. Um, so yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it for uh, that. Uh, you know, we did not explore uh, triggers here, but uh, maybe that's something we will look at in another video. But uh, yeah, that's Terraform data.